All right, so now that we've got this uh, simple reverse foot sort of going and we added this toe control, we're in pretty good shape. I mean, this is really all you need uh, for an animator to get most of the way there, but let's now just add some extra kind of controls to, to give the animator full control over this foot. Um, one of the first things that you'll notice is at the moment we've got our ball rotation up and down, we've got our toe pivot coming from there up and down, we've got our toe rotation up and down, but we don't have these other axes uh, going. So just to say that the, the animator wanted to uh, bring the ball rotation up and then sort of like twist that around a little bit, uh, there's really no way of doing that other than sort of coming in here to the heel and the pivot point of the heel is right at the back of the foot, so that's not very good good for the animator. So we're, we're going to open this up and, and allow the animator to really access some of these other things that are going on here. So to show you this manually, I'll just switch off the rig layer back to our reverse foot only, just this one here. And uh, say we can see that that's been turned off, uh, connected, sorry, the rotate Y, but these other axes, uh, we may want the animator still to have a little bit of control on this sort of stuff with the toe itself. Uh, with the X on that, uh, with the Z as well, uh, perhaps even with here, with this control here, we, we might want to have, uh, the animator may, for some reason, want to have access to these other controls, so let's just add those in quickly. Where we do this is, uh, there's a nice little trick, and of course you could have uh, ball XYZ, toe pivot XYZ, toe rot XYZ, and sometimes I'll do that, but in this case we've already created these, so let's just keep them as is and just have an extra axis section down here. Now if I go up to here and we go to modify, add attribute, what we can do that's kind of cool is we can make just a displayable attribute and let's call this just underscore. Um, so why would we call something underscore? Well, this is just a, a little UI, a nice UI thing in the channel box that um, a few people use and it's quite cool. And if we make it an enum, we can see green, blue is our default settings for it, our enum list but we're only going to have one attribute in our list, or one value in our list, and that will be um, other axis. So this is the other axes for the ball rot, the toe pivot, and the toe rot. And if we hit add now, we can see because it's only displayable, we can see we can't really change that, we can't key it, uh, it's an axis, but it just sort of sits there and it's a nice little function for us to sort of like display and separate our channel box out. So it's really a nice little thing there. So now we want to add our new attribute. So we're just going to add the um, the X and the Z axes for all these three uh, controls that we're really taking over with this foot control. So first of all, let's hit ball. And we're going to call it ball. X is going to be the first one, no space for this one. Uh, and we want to make that a float. So let's make that hit add. Let's go ball Z. Now we're skipping Y because we've already got Y hooked up. And next we're going to go toe pivot X and toe pivot Y. Sorry, we're skipping Y, so we want Z. And then for the last of all, we're just going to go toe Z. So toe, toe, toe X and toe Z, there we go. So now we've got all these other axes that the animator might want to use for, for whatever reason. So let's now hook those up. This is very straightforward. So again, we come back into our window, general editors, connection editor. Again, and we're going to scroll right to the bottom to these new attributes that we're going to hook up. And our first one is ball X. So let's do this. Uh, this is the ball joint that we're rotating here, so reload it in the right. We go down to our rotation. You can see how fast it's kind of to use this uh, this connection editor once you get good at it. Ball X to X, ball Z to Z. That's done. Next one, we want to use the toe. Reload right. Make sure we got toe there, yes. Scroll down, and then we go to rotate. Then we can go. This is our toe pivot. So. So pivot rotate X, so pivot rotate Z, and that's now hooked up and ready to go. Last control is we want our locator, which is actually our one that uh, just orients the toe by itself. Toe X, we've got to reload that locator into this section, toe locator. 
come down here to rotate, rotate X, and rotate Z. Now the animator, if we sort of hide the reverse foot, has the full ability to roll that, to sort of shuffle from that joint there on the ball, toe pivot on the other axes where he never had access before, uh, and then roll that foot in the in the other way, depending on what he or she might want. So we've just added those other axes. Uh, and that's all pretty simple there. You can just see it's just a matter of making the attributes and connecting them up, and, and we're ready to go. So the last couple of steps is we're going to add a swivel, so he can sort of put out a cigarette, so it's a new pivot point, that which will be back here somewhere. And uh, we also want to make um, a bank of the foot, so that'll be the last one.